Hello and welcome again to React Navigation tutorial series. This is Fukan from Lahore Graphics Academy. And in this brief tutorial, I'm going to give you an idea on how to start up your tab, the bottom tab, Navigations in React Native Expo. <clears throat> now, these are the navigations that appear at the bottom of your screen. And let's see how to build them. First of all, in my command line, I have to install a few dependencies. These dependencies you can copy from the description or you can look at their documentation. In order to do that, I have to stop my Expo server, which is already running. Now let's install a few dependencies and go through them one by one. Now the first dependency to install is this one, React Navigation slash Native. Now you remember this from the stack navigation video, okay? This is the second tutorial of the series. The first one was stack navigation. This one is tab navigation. So I have already have this installed. I'm not going to run this, but you should if you haven't already. Now the second one is this one. Install this. Again, I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do this. If you are missing out on something, check out my previous video where I installed all these dependencies one by one. Okay, the link is in the description, so don't worry. And the third one is this one. This is unique. The previous one was stack. This one is bottom tabs. So I'm going to install this one. And I will get back to you once this is installed. Okay, now that three of our dependencies have been installed, we are going to start our expo developers to the console that we all um, need to run before starting our React Native project. For that, we have to write npm start. Now that our expo console is running, the developer tool is running, now we can see that um, this line is being printed on the screen. So let's start building the tab navigation. All of our dependencies are installed. There are three in total, so we're going to import them as well. Um, in st uh, status bar and style, this is by default given to me. I have not imported them by myself. So let's import the two other dependencies that we just installed. Number one is the navigation container. Again, we did this, the stack navigation. The second one is the create bottom tab navigator. In the stack one, we created the stack. In the tab one, we are creating the tab. So there will be some similarities between them, the syntax point of view. Now, just like what we did in stack, we are going to create a new handle for the tab, uh, for the tab navigation. And we will be using this in our uh, navigation container component, which we will see in a, in, a little, in a little while. So that's done. Over here, we will write our home component, or any component that you want to name. So we do not need this entire view. What we need here is navigation syntax. How to do that? Just like what we did in the stack navigation, we created the navigation container first. Inside of navigation container, we will create the tab navigator. So here is the tab navigator component. And inside, we can add our screens, just like what we did in the stack navigation. I'm repeating it and comparing it with stack because it's easy to compare. So over here, we will write our um, first screen on the component, home screen, okay? This is a function that I have to create, and this is the title or handle that will be pointing at this component. So let's start building this function. We are going to return something, which will be JSX, and it will be view. And inside of the view will be a simple text. I don't know why I do this kind of bracket hello home screen and the text closed and that's pretty much it. So let's save it and see how does it look. Control S. So there you go. We have this home at the bottom. The icons are missing because I have not installed the library that shows the icon but you can see that it's working and let's add a new screen and see what we can do with that we will copy this 
home component and paste it here and instead of home it will be movie component function name will be movie screen movie screen return view hello movie screen okay movie screen and here we have to add a screen control c this line the one which is showing the home screen we will rename the home to movie and movie screen home screen to movie screen control s again and we should be seeing two of the navigations at the bottom movie and home so it's as simple as that in the movies we have the movie screen and in home we have the home screen as you can see in the emulator i'm switching back and forth from home and movie so that's very simple and see you in the next tutorial